Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name's Anthony, this is the Driver Mod. We're gonna be doing a modification on the S2000 today. We're gonna be dropping some weight out of the car. We're gonna show you how to do it. So we're actually gonna be dropping weight today just by changing out the battery. Now this is a lithium ion battery from Anti-Gravity Batteries. This is their ATX 20HD battery. It has 900 cranking amps compared to your OEM battery, which is usually in the neighborhood of 550 to 650 for these cars. Uh, as you can see, it's also a lot smaller and it's going to be significantly lighter. We're going to get them on the scale after we get the OEM battery out, weigh the two so you can see the weight savings. I've been running this battery in the GT350 now for over a year, no problem at all. This battery saved me 25 pounds from the stock battery in the GT350. So now we're going to see what it can do for the S2000 here. Now I do have the Skunk Racing battery hold down bracket. We're just going to remove that. And we'll just go ahead and release our battery terminals. And now we can pull the battery out and we'll get it on the scale. So here you can see just a side-by-side -side size comparison. I can pick the anti-gravity battery up with one hand, no problem, and chuck it around like a football. It weighs in just under five pounds. The S2000 battery is a lot heavier than it looks. Definitely a lot more dense than it looks. So we're gonna see what kind of weight savings we're gonna get just by swapping out a battery. Uh, the lifespan on the anti-gravity lithium battery is also significantly longer than a regular lead acid battery or an AGM battery. And that's because there's a chemical reaction going on inside the AGM or the lead acid battery all the time. It's constantly, you got that fluid in there, constantly transferring electrons back and forth between the plates throughout the battery's life, where a lithium ion battery is merely just a storage device. It's gonna take charge when it can hold it, and it's gonna release power when it is demanded. Other than that, there's no chemical reaction going on full time. As you can see, zero pounds. Put the stock battery on there. 27.4 pounds for the stock S2000 battery. Now, let's get the anti-gravity lithium battery on there. So 27.4. All right, back at zero. Go ahead and put the anti-gravity battery on. All right, as, as you can see there, it zeroes out really quickly. This battery is 4.8 pounds. So that is a weight savings of 22.6 pounds just by replacing the battery. That's almost 1% of the S2000's entire weight being dropped just by doing this modification. Now let's get this thing bolted in and hooked up. Definitely pay attention to the orientation of the positive and negative posts. They are labeled on the battery, positive, minus. Now we'll just get these tightened down. Now let's get our hold down bracket put back on. All right, we're all set. Now this battery is significantly shorter than the uh, stock battery. So even with these run all the way down the hold down bracket, um, you can still see it's a little loose. We did add some foam down there to kind of raise the height of the battery, but it looks like we'll need to add a little more. So, but other than that, fits right in there, no problem. Um, you'll just wanna make sure that again, you have this all the way down, the battery's secure and not gonna move around anywhere because the last thing you need is for one of these posts to come up in contact with you know, anything metal. Uh, you never want your battery to just be flopping around in there. But um, we're just gonna add like another piece of uh, like plastic or foam and uh, we'll be good to go. So I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can go find the ATX 20HD from on Anti-Gravity's website. You can see all the detailed specs. Uh, as you saw, stock battery weighed 27.4 pounds. The Anti-Gravity battery only weighed 4.8 pounds. So again, 22.6 pounds lost on the car. And you're not sacrificing anything in terms of longevity, reliability, durability. The lithium ion battery is going to exceed and beat the OEM lead acid battery in every measurable category. You can also use promo code TDM10 and you'll save 10% off your order at Anti-Gravity Batteries. Don't forget to pick up 
yourself a specific lithium ion battery charger, trickle charger. It's gonna look something like this. This is what's gonna connect into the trickle charger. Uh, and then these, these posts are gonna just bolt into the side post there on the battery on the right there. And then here is an example of a lithium ion trickle charger. It must say lithium on it. Be very, very, it's very, very important that the, the product specifies that it is for lithium ion batteries because you cannot charge a lithium battery the same way you charge a AGM or lead acid battery. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one here at the driver mod.